my God. I left my trolling motor remote at my house. I just drove like 30 minutes away. Our savior has arrived. Instead of having to drive home, like and make an hour long round trip, Chelsea, my fiance, has come to drop off the trolling motor remote for me. Oh, she has a guest with her as well. Got today. Thank you. The best. Lifesaver. Poor man. You don't even know what's coming. I love you, thank you. That was a lifesaver right there. Chelsea has to uh, take Otis to get his, his doodle berries cut off today, so she uh, was able to come and drop the remote off for me, so. Worked out, okay. We can finally fish now. <laughs> what up, dog? Lawson here. So, right now, sitting next to a big giant bridge, and that's kind of the game plan for today, is fishing some big old bridges, and we're gonna throw some artificials, but I also plan on dropping some different baits down like if we can find some mullet, sand perch, croakers, jack of all, anything, you know, we're looking for snook, reds, grouper, tarpon, anything that's gonna be lurking underneath the bridge. Could be sharks, I don't know. But the game plan is we're gonna fish some bridges. Right now though, I'm gonna start off throwing artificial and then I'm gonna pick up some live bait and we'll start dropping that as well. All right, we're gonna mix things up here. I've been throwing mullet all morning and have not even had like a sniff. And earlier I netted like, well, just only like two dozen pilchards, like perfect snapper size ones. So we'll see what happens with this. It's been a very uh, slow and boring morning besides all the police traffic. I guess that's been kind of exciting, but maybe I'll have to whack a snapper or even like a uh, snook or something on one of these smaller pilchards here because the mullet aren't doing jack. I just got bumped right there. There's a fish. Get out, get out. Ugh. Oh yes, baby. Oh my God, never mind. Son of a <laughs> The freaking cat. <sighs> of course, that's gonna be the first fish of the day. And I thought, like, I was like, oh man, I think I have like a medium sized snook on her. He's like a big snapper. That's classic. The old cat dog. There's some snapper trying to jack Buddy up. There it is. <laughs> oh yeah. A big beautiful mangrove snapper right there. Oh, that's a keeper mangrove, too. We're not gonna keep him today, but we may come back and 
catch some of these bad boys and make a dinner for them. All right, a little bit of a midday update for you. It's like 12.30, one in the afternoon. I have caught a catfish and one single snapper and it's been insanely uneventful and I've been chucking live bait around bridges all day and just nothing really has happened. I need to post a video today because I, when I go into the 30 day challenge, I try to film quite a few videos ahead and this year, or this time around, I was only able to get three ahead and seven days into the 30 day challenge or eight days in, and I'm already caught back up. Had one night where I went out trying to catch some big giant snook and blanked and then having a very uneventful day today. And it's just, and uh, had to go get suited for a suit for my wedding coming up in a few months. So it just like hasn't worked out super well. So what I'm filming right now is what you're gonna be watching tonight. So. I need to figure it out. I need to catch a few fish. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. Honestly, if I catch another good sized snapper, that sucker might come home and he might be lunch because I'm hungry right now. All right, here's the game plan. We returned to the bridge that I initially started fishing on and we're gonna see if we can catch a snapper. And if we catch a keeper snapper, we're bringing him home and we're eating him for lunch. Do a good old fashioned catch and cook. We are kind of getting encroached on by a big storm here. So if we can make it happen before that, great. If not, I've already thrown the raincoat on. So let's see what happens. Big crab right here, big boy. Yeah. This guy, he's the one. There's a mangrove. Ah. That is what we were looking for for a long time. Put Levin right there on that mark. Tail on zero. Okay, back home at the house, brought our snapper. Done a little bit of prep work, but we're gonna start cooking here in a second. Just make a classic fried fish sandwich. You know, I feel like some people think like there's like a hierarchy for fish that you like shouldn't fry and can't fry, and oh, you should fry those because they suck. And, don't fry those because they're great. And there's like some exceptions, like I don't know if you'd ever fry tuna or swordfish or anything like that. But the reason people fry fish, because it just tastes freaking good. So that's what we're gonna do. Where are you at? This is also our our kitchen, our very modest kitchen, but it's ours. All right, we have battered our snapper and seasoned it a little bit here. I seasoned it before and after. We may throw those in for two rounds. Like I might fry them really quick and basically get the panko to set, pull it back out, rebat, recrumb throw it back in if we want it like really, really crispy, but we'll see how that turns out. Okay, so while that is brewing, we are gonna set up our accoutrements, so things that are gonna go with it. The idea is right here, that's too big of a knife. That'll be. Okay, got the bun. So what we're gonna do here, ingredients, we have bun, onions, lettuce, mayo, pickles, some like chipotle hot sauce, and avocado, and a little bit of lime juice. We are gonna be working with those ingredients and we're gonna make something quite delicious. All right, first things first, we're gonna get just like a thin slice white onion right there. I like the crunch of that white onion. So we have that, we're going to chop up a little bit of romaine and just like a little bit of the, the leafy tips going on up top and we'll spread that across the bun. That's like our crunch here. The sandwich is going to be a lot of crunch fried. It's going to have onions, iceberg lettuce, or romaine, pickles, it's going to be good. Do we, have, we have a little mixing bowl, right? Do we just get a little mixing bowl? It's not in there. It's not in there. Where is it? Where did uh, I say it was? <laughs> oh. Nope. You're not helping. 
it's just me being a fancy girl and we're gonna throw some mayo into a bowl right here a bowl that's a little bit too large for what we're doing some tapatio it's just like a good hot sauce and just doing that it's gonna add just like a little bit more flavor into like each bite of the sandwich I'm a fan of spice stuff. If you don't like spice stuff, leave out the Chipotle. We're just going to incorporate that all together. You know what I even might do right here real quick? I'm thinking about it. Got this garlic. Crush that. Little little science fact. When you crush the garlic and press it, that's what releases a bunch of the flavor. Is that mincing it? Yes. We are mincing the garlic. We're gonna flip these snap daddies real quick. Oh yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Oh. That one looks good. That's great. So I'm gonna talk about something real quick, not, not if I don't talk enough all the time anyways. Um so you're probably wondering, catch and cook, that's a little off brand for you. You never ever do catch and cooks. You don't ever even barely keep any fish. I think I've literally maybe done two or three catch and cooks and one was just a big, do you need to check on him? Yes. Do you want to take him to the bathroom? Yes. Our dog got his nuts chopped off today, so he's a little, a little out of it. Notice your jean. All right, so in the uh, like one minute that Chelsea was gone letting Otis out to the bathroom, I added a little bit of ketchup into our sauce mix here, and I also diced up, or minced up, as Chelsea finally put it, a pickle. When, when, when does it become relish? Is it just slicing it little makes it relish, or is it some type of uh, else that makes it relish? We're gonna grab just like a tiny bit of butter and throw it on this flat pan over here to toast our buns. Get that going. Just you want one of these? No, it's not vegan. <laughs> it's not vegan? Oh, yeah. What I was about to say before Chelsea left. You know, you're probably wondering why I'm doing a catch and cook and it's kind of random because I normally don't ever keep fish. So over the past, what, it's been like a week and a half now? Mm -hmm. Like right when I started the 30 day challenge, a few days before it, Chelsea and I have actually been eating vegetarian, like pretty much vegan actually. Not because we have some strong stance on animals or anything like that, as I'm literally cooking a fish right now, but for just like trying to kick, kick lots? kickstart losing some weight and uh, it's been going really well. I've lost 10 pounds in the past seven days and so it's going really good. And I've really enjoyed honestly eating like a lot of vegetables. But one of the things I said to Chelsea is like, I will eat vegetarian for the next 30 days. That's what we set the goal for. I was like, but anything that I catch or if I go hunting and shoot something that I'm gonna keep it and I'll eat wild caught game and fish. And it's something that I really wanted to get into a little bit more is harvesting my own game and harvesting my own food. And I think it's something that's really, really valuable. And I just really appreciate the idea of being able to go out and catch your own fish and know where it's coming from. And it hasn't been overly processed and handled by tons of people and kept inhumanely. So I think this is cool. And you'll probably see a little bit more catching and cooking in the future here. That is lovely. All right, got some toasty buns here. We're gonna do a little bit on the bottom, a little bit on the top, just a little bit of this stuff everywhere, why not? We are gonna start dressing up our sandwich here. I might pop out a few of these rings so it's not so like onion heavy. Instead, kind of like lay them real artsy across like that. A little bit of lechug. You know what? No, that's right. She is simple in nature, but I think that's a beautiful thing right there. Quick sandwich. Should we go for a cross section? <laughs> he 
You gotta admit, that doesn't look half bad. Very sloppily thrown together, but it doesn't look bad. God, that is so good. That is so freaking good. Helps when you haven't eaten it. <laughs> oh, I'm eating any meat in nine days. That has been destroyed. That is all that's left. It's just that bun right there. Oh, that was really, really good. I mean, to be fair, I haven't had any meat or anything like that in a while, but that still was fantastic. If you guys want to try the recipe or if you do try it out, let me know and leave comments below. It was really simple. I literally just egg batter, panko to the fish, season it a little bit with actually some uh, blackened seasoning and some salt and pepper, then sauce, like, I'm not even measuring things. I didn't even follow the recipe. This is just me making stuff off the top of my head. Scoop of mayo, squirt of ketchup, diced up a pickle, threw it in there, minced up some garlic, threw it in there with it, and then poured in a little bit of hot sauce, mixed it all together, slapped it on a bun that I toasted. Bun, sauce, fish, onion, lettuce, sauce, bun. That was it. Really simple, really easy. And uh, I think just about everybody that lives in Florida can go out and catch a mangrove snapper. So try it. Let me know. All right. That about wraps up today's video. I literally am going to go now sit down at this video and post it. And then once it's posted, I'm going to hop back in my truck and drag the boat to a boat ramp and go fish tonight and see if we can catch a big snook or something. I don't know. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, this is kind of a, a weird question for me, something I've thought about asking and I feel weird doing. But like I was mentioning when we're cooking, that I'm trying to branch more out into hunting and fishing for harvesting my own game and stuff like that. So, one of my friends suggested reaching out and saying, hey, if you guys have any like private land or somewhere to hunt and you guys want to hunt together, that would be really awesome and maybe we can work something out and we can uh, hunt and then we can go snook fishing one day together. That would be really cool. So. If you do have anything like that, shoot me a DM on Instagram or email me, and uh, that'd be sweet. All right. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you drop a like. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel. That is it for me. I need to stop talking. I need to start editing. Okay, we're done. Goodbye. Peace.